How you guys and girls doing today? It's the Finance Man here, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another video coming in, y'all. I'm not going to be talking too much because i got to roll real quick, but I just want to say I appreciate and I love y'all. And this video is just going to be an AMA that Dandy was having in the Discord. He's promised to do an AMA to update the community, and he answers some pretty important questions like, you know, Wonderland or the future of Wonderland, Wonderland 2.0, uh, what's happening to the BSGG airdrop, um, what he's going to plan on doing to all those who got liquidated um, right after him. Uh, you know, Sifu and things like that, what's going on with who's going to be managing the treasury and the project, and just in general, some very important questions that a lot of people were having. So I'm going to go ahead and let that AMA play for y'all in the Discord, and I will catch y'all all in that next video. The Finance Man out of here. Love y'all. A lot of uh, different opinions that are happening, and uh, you might know how much I care about everyone, yeah, even though sometimes... Uh, even the ones that have sent me death threat times can even understand that and uh, I believe that that uh, in uh, in forgiveness so uh, I'm here trying to figure out and uh, asking you also to help me here on understanding how we can move forward and uh, with all as a humble uh, as a humble person and uh, I have seen that uh, there is so many of you that are so valuable here that that really I'm uh, I'm really proud of this community. What lesson have the board members Daniele learned from this? I think that we already responded to that. What would be your involvement with Popsicle and Abracadabra movie? forward to accomplish the greater vision of uh, my greater vision of DeFi. Um, I make sure that things that uh, I have mentioned gets delivered and uh, I will always be there to advise and uh, bring ideas and so on. So that's that is as much as I have done so far but less on the front line because this um, whole situation in the last even even before the Sifu gate and everything has started to take a real um, real toll on my um, mental health who are the individual on the multi sign so we have uh, Ricardo Spagni me um, we have uh, Georgie and Dalek uh, two multi-signers have resigned even before Sifu was out. Uh, the moment that uh, Sifu uh, news came out, both Stani and Vagarian completely resigned and abandoned our multi-sign. That's why I'm a couple of days looking into replacing them to enlarge the security of the protocol. What's the management team structure moving forward? We will see based on the proposals that are out there. What has stopped you from getting more people to help you? Money, trust, and... Well, it's very hard to find people uh, in general in this business. Uh, there is one part of people that are trustable, but are already working on other things. There are other people that we don't know and need to prove themselves. I think this, uh, this whole situation comes out to be a very good moment in which we will, we will find in within our community who is there for really for this protocol to shine. And this has happened also to Andrew Bern. It's a very similar situation the moving forward and stepping up of other people and I've seen so many of you do taking your time, energy and really, really thinking about what to do and it's it's very good. So um, what stopped me from getting more people, definitely not money, I had a lot of money, but definitely trust the component is very, very hard and uh, to be honest, seeing it took like this when I have trusted Sifu, uh, it's uh, it's complex. It's uh, trust is a very complex thing, 
and uh, and uh, in a way has brought us to this point in time, right? And uh, you can see how much in reality decentralization is something that we can rely upon in the moment in which things get bad. And uh, and uh, fortunately, we have not lost funds. There have been fad about tornado cash or this kind of stuff, but I have run myself um, a lot of looking into all the transactions, etc. From from seafood, there, there has been. I haven't noticed anything. Uh, I'm looking into uh, doing a more formal audit from a third party. So just uh, it shouldn't be a burden of Wonderland. It should be something that I make uh, over time, just to make sure that nothing has been taken away from you. But uh, I'm pretty confident it's not. So. How come the leadership on Wonderland isn't more diverse? Well, uh, I founded this protocol uh, to showcase the world that people could gather around the crazy idea of creating the most powerful, the largest and the biggest treasury and community in crypto. And I think so far we succeeded just um, we need to now start to structure because I have made the, the mistake on scale. It's, it's mean like the thing has scaled, outscaled me. That's why now we are in this position. And uh, that's why now it's a call to action for people to, to scale it with us. Sifu related question. Does Sifu still have access to treasury wallet? No. What is your relationship with Sifu now? We do not have any business together. Will there be an AMA with Sifu? I, I don't know. Uh, I can, I can ask him. Uh, airdrop question. When is the BSGG airdrop? Uh, the BSGG airdrop will happen. Um, I'm looking to into it actually from today. I was looking it. and, uh, and, uh, it's one of the things that I need to maintain because if I make a promise, I need to maintain. So this was a promise even before the scandal, uh, it's been in a, the reason why the airdrop come yet is because Sifu was very, very focused on making sure that everyone gets uh, their airdrop because the airdrop was going to be like the same for everybody. So the snapshot has been taken multiple times. There was some diff like differences. So that was the reason. But at this point, I want to make sure that this gets done. And uh, I'm on top of that. And we'll make sure that it happens as soon as possible. Will there be a WMM airdrop time holders? No, this has not been voted or seen. I am not going to take this uh, choice on my own. Liquidations, questions. Are you still considering some sort of monetary compensation? Frogs were liquidated well under the backing price. This is something that regards myself. Um, I can tell you what is my thought process there. So there has been people that get liquidated under me. Mm. So I think that I'm looking right now at the backing current backing price. And uh, I want to um, uh, pay back the spread if you borrowed. So you are at the same level as everybody else, right? This is what I'm looking for. The time frame is after everything gets resolved and a proposal gets pushed forward on Wonderland. Voting questions. Is there a better way to fend off sharks trying to take over Wonderland's treasury by accumulating voting power at these low prices? Or are the frogs sticking together through the only way? Yeah, it's the only way. So you need to like if you look at the amount of people and money that have voted and you look at the top holders, um, there is so many people that have not voted. 
So I will go quick over these questions because um, I sent money to the team for distributing Phantom, uh, like a small Phantom airdrop, to all the people that is holding WMAM on Phantoms and bring it back. If you are right now with WMAM on Phantom, please bridge it back because we need your vote. And uh, I personally paying for uh, for you to make that transaction. So please take take the time and and bridge it back. There is gonna be some time for you to do it, of course. But as I'm asking now, if you're listening, do um, do it as soon as possible. Uh, anyway, all the proposals are in discussion phases. I think that you have time to do it, but just do it, please. Like, it's very important that if you know someone or whatever, you really gather everyone to be involved with the governance process. So whatever vote will come next, that will be to pass one of the community proposals about moving forward, we need to gather as many votes as possible so there is a straight um, path forward and we do not destroy this community so the community needs to act can we move to a more quadratic electoral or balanced voting system that can be more fair like what you proposed before here we are talking about money i have thought a lot, um, for example, about on-chain governance. <clears throat> I think it's a path that we can take in a later stage. Um, and uh, I've been looking at solution for this. But if you consider right now, the amount of money that the treasury is holding, it's huge. It's a massive amount of money. It's the biggest. And you consider how much money is required to take control of this treasury if there was on-chain voting at the current price of WMEMO, then it's a concern to me. That's why uh, right now we don't have it. And uh, if, if so, it would have been a good thing to have from the beginning because we scaled together with the protocol but it was not available on Avalanche. So there was nothing to, that we could do. So now we are here and uh, I do not think that this uh, vote for moving forward should be more quadratic. Um, I think it's, uh, I think that most of the money is in hands of frogs and smaller frogs, as you can tell by looking at the holder list. So you just need to think that we are such a large community that we are larger than many cities, <laughs> which is crazy, right? So we need to be as focused as possible on making sure that people receive the message, that receive the next vote when it will be, that are informed about the vote, and that you rally towards what is your opinion. How can we moderate and manage the proposals in a way that can keep things out of the Wonderland 2.0 medium has some good points. Well, right now we have, uh, I think, a very strong framework and uh, uh, Wonderland 2.0 is using it, so I don't see why. Um, I mean, automation comes with on-chain governance. Right now we are at a point in which we can be attacked uh, and the treasury can be attacked. So we need to be very, very careful on what we forward till there is a repricing and so on of the asset. FTM eat chain holders are not able to vote snapshots. Any fixes? They need to bridge back. I sent the money back to them just to help them. And we also made the mini airdrop to pay for Don't forget. Revenue share questions. How do you envision this would be implemented? So the original thinking was to just uh, have a staking contract with WMAMO and stream them there. Now I've seen other type of proposals, so we will see.
treasury questions. Is the treasury still generating revenue? Yes, we have LPs and uh, this generating revenues. We have unwinded uh, the position on UST. Uh, the reason was that in that moment, there was uh, uh, some concerns about the UST packs. So we rolled it out and we, we took back our initial How important is it that those handling the treasure funds be doxed and checked? Yeah, at this point it's important. What can I say? Like, look at the shit show that happened. Like, I'm, it needs to be. There is no other possibility. Has the treasury ever been in a position to sell WMO time backing mm, on any exchange? Um, I don't really understand this question, but Treasury never sold W. Any plans for more buybacks and burns to help with the current price? I think that governance now need to decide if we are still going to do the buybacks or not and in the proposals and what we are going to do with the rage quit options. I saw that both had rage quit options, so we need to be very clear on the path forward and uh, with rage quit options there is no need for buybacks we can discontinue buybacks we did officially discontinue buybacks at the moment till new proposals are out it is definitely possible to organize monthly progresses reports on the treasury it will be the duty of whoever is in charge of it. How do we generate revenue through such as average stable farming and not get liquidated in the treasury via coordinated attack? We need to build automation. Uh, there is no other way. Like I, I have been looking in, I think that, um, I mean, like even for myself, that what happened to me, like I really started looking clearly on automating the unwinding and winding and reducing certain position. I think that uh, also the professor mentioned something like this, and this can be a great product in Wonderland, and uh, why not? Can we get the list of specific on-chain transactions in the investment down that made third party less bet swap across the aging warm up. Yeah, sure. So launching. Leverage questions. Will the W memo code open up in the future? No, not now. Maybe. What is your opinion on the W memo pricing since we turn off leverage and stop buyback? I don't think it has anything. The leverage, I think it has to do with the confusion, the miscommunication on my side, and the, the Sifu situation. I don't think that uh, all the price was leverage. Question. Professor's medium post. In the Discord chat, you mentioned you read post. I did. I did read his, and I did read uh, the other Wonderland 2.0. I think uh, they are both good proposals and I'm looking forward of knowing what you think about them. Um, I found it pretty interesting that the professor said that I am autistic, but uh, part of that uh, I share a lot of things that he said as much as I shared a lot also on the more broader plan uh, on the Wonderland 2.0 that allows for, I think, more open discussion on some points. Like there is a lot of opinionated stuff on professors post, like for example, 20% of revenue sharing. Like, I don't know how it came out with that. Like, I think we need to dig it deeper. Treasury manager CFO's question. You mentioned Harry Yen, the Skyhopper as possible interest. Still a possibility? Yes, I have spoken Harry and I have spoken with the Skyhopper. So they are both here, ready to take that place, and they they have been um, 
uh, they are friends and they are here. Whichever turns out to be the path forward, uh, definitely we will be able to discuss with them. Can you give us some background on them? What you think their investment strategy would be? Um, Harry Ye is a way more traditional directional investor. Is not uh, very strong in uh, DeFi, in my opinion, uh, or farming specifically, but is very strong in directional, big directional bets. Skyhopper is a very strong arbitrager, is very strong non directional trader, so they, they actually complement pretty well. So, might be interesting to can put them together. Can you give us some background? Uh, okay, so this is, uh, I know, I know the Skyhopper from NoBTC that we did him, Sam Bankfried, um, uh, the Whirlpool, and so on two years ago. Harry, yeah, I know him because of his involvement in Fent. Exit options questions. With everything that happened with miscommunication around the backing price, there are some who want to cut ties with the project. Yes, I can see that very clearly. So I still believe that giving a rage quit option for people who do not share the next steps of Wonderland, wherever will be that direction, must. How would that be implemented? And it wouldn't be abused. Definitely the idea of taking off the LP uh, for a certain period of time, so not having like liquidity on our side to trade it is the idea and is option. Abracadabra proposal question. Can you give details what Abracadabra is trying to accomplish? Cost and benefits and so on. So, very, so, in all the things that I've looked into one of the things that I was focused on was how do we regain a unique deal with good directionality for the frogs on Wonderland within the ecosystem that we have because so we can manage a good deal with fundamentals that by clearly could improve the price action of a certain asset acquired and the idea of uh, Wonderland investing in Abracadabra or unwinding merging was that by combining the treasury and the protocol of Abracadabra, we could have gained a lot of directionality back into the uh, for the investors of um, of Wonderland. The idea is that right now one of the biggest um, a situation that uh, Abracadabra have is that it's very dilute. So it's uh, issuing a lot of tokens to maintain the liquidity on curve, to pay for the LPs, uh, to pay the bribes and so on. On the other side, we have Wonderland that can anticipate money or give Abracadabra money to avoid spending all these rewards that don't go to create any long-term holding of assets that generate those, uh, that, that value. So, so this was a very simple like line of thought, like uh, we can buy our own liquidity with Abracadabra, then the coin is not inflationary anymore. All the rest of the treasury that the coin has or all the rest of the uh, issuance that it has over the other three years and half doesn't is not needed anymore then the fully diluted value does not exist because we don't need bell issuances anymore and a repricing needs to happen at that point at the, with the addition of the potential growth of the value of the treasury that has been invested so this was uh, was my line of thought in there and i still think that we can talk about this but at this point, after we have a, a new treasure and we have like a clear path forward. Now, other other uh, questions. Frog University. I think it's a great idea, and I think we should absolutely 
figure out the budget to do it because right now we have such a great community and I think there can be so much potential to teach all our community how to use DeFi, how to use all the products even outside of our Frog Nation ecosystem, really create value for them. How can little frogs and Tad support Wonderland? Go out in the forum, make sure that people vote, talk, talk to each other. Uh, when there is misinformation, call them out. Like go out and make sure that nobody can treat you like you are the last of the food chain. Like we are not the last of the food chain. We are the fucking strongest community in crypto and we need to stand up. In this, in this process. We need to show everybody outside, all the people that are listening here that are not from Wonderland, that we are capable of creating the best decentralized autonomous organization that has ever been. Because of you. Because you make it. Not because Daniele, Daniele, Daniele is here and not going anywhere at this point. You know? Like this... But Daniele not have all the answers. Like, I think the collective have, though. And it's showing. So this is exciting. Very exciting. And it's really forward-looking. Can we have an audit from a reputable company and get to the bottom of the FUD and discrimination against and others, whales, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I would like to take a look at, uh, like, like, it's really crazy. Like, sometimes when, when all these things happen, journalists told me actually very, very interesting thing. Uh, like, because this outcome of Sifu being who he is, is so crazy. Like, you know, it's such a, like, a twist plot of the, of a movie. You know, like almost like a Netflix. Then it allows any theory out there to be credible. Because it's so crazy that at the end, at this point, anything becomes credible. But believe me, like all of this fad about me is going to go away very quickly. Because the only thing that I had was not saying for a few weeks, for a month, about a month, about Sifu, not doxing him. That's about it. I have never done anything else bad. So, uh, so it's going to move forward. We can get any company to do audits. I mean, you can propose this in the governance forum and you can be paid. Or, or if you want me to pay it, reach out to tell me what company you want that audits me and at the bottom if you really think that it's worth it. did you actually make an offer to buy out squid DAO treasury well yes i did is the calculator and runway coming back no mm, there we go alice um do we have any other type of question Alice, she fell asleep, I think. Um, I was boring as fuck. Usually I'm less boring, probably. Anyway, thank you everyone for joining me here. Um, I'm looking forward to you following up on the forum. I will be also...